The title of the West's fastest growing, most progressive newspaper is claimed by the Los Angeles Sentinel with a circulation of 26,000. Business manager Dora Moore has guided the affairs of the Sentinel since the retirement of its founder, Leon H. Washington. And this thriving paper is among the most notable in the fourth estate of the West Coast. Mrs. Washington still takes an active part in the enterprise. Serving readers scattered throughout the far-flung Los Angeles area, the Sentinel's delivery trucks run up more mileage than most as they make their weekly rounds. Top rank in circulation is held by the Pittsburgh Courier. Publisher Mrs. Robert Van and editors William Nunn and P.L. Prattis oversee 17 weekly editions. The Amsterdam News and the Age Defender serve New York. The only Negro daily is the Atlanta World. Providing these newspapers with reporting no single independent enterprise could afford is the Associated Negro Press, international in scope, its headquarters in Chicago, the nerve center for a network of correspondence in every American and foreign news center. It's an invaluable central source of news to supplement local coverage, airmailing its bulletins to subscribing newspapers everywhere in the country. Founder and head of the Associated Negro Press is Claude Barnett, well known for his public service, which has included government work and a position on Tuskegee's board of directors. Among the AMP correspondents is fashion editor Mrs. Freddie Henderson, shown visiting the United Nations gift shop. She's also president of the National Association of Fashion Designers. Hollywood correspondent Harry Levette interviews top personalities such as radio and movie star Ruby Dandridge to keep the thousands who follow his column posted. Gladys Graham covers New York. She's as familiar a figure among New York's downtown municipal buildings as in Harlem. In the United Nations, Samuel Perry follows the workings of international diplomacy in close contact with figures of global importance. In Washington, D.C., Mrs. Alice Dunnigan is among the bare handful of women who are accredited White House correspondents. One of several African correspondents is Bankhole Timothy of Gold Coast, shown here with Premier Kwame Nkrumah. London Representative Sam Morris divides his time between Parliament and the British Colonial Office. At the United Nations, we find a representative of the comparatively small number of Negro newsmen working for the national press. The arena of the world's top-level diplomacy is the beat of Arch Parsons, bureau manager for the New York Herald Tribune, one of the country's leading newspapers. A graduate of the University of Michigan, Parsons put in one year with the New York Age before joining the Herald Tribune staff in 1949. After two years on general assignments, he was sent to the United Nations. Today, his stories rate front page bylines on a newspaper noted nationally for the excellence of its reporting. In the conference rooms of the UN, Arch Parsons is on the scene as history is made. Just at the beginning of his career in journalism, he is already close to the top.